Welcome to IdahoReporter.com's weekly update, where we get you caught up on the important issues happening around the state. We start this week with an update on Governor Otter's working group that discussed a potential expansion of Medicaid. The group, which is made up of legislators, state officials, medical and insurance industry reps, and other community members, met to discuss the expansion of Medicaid and what the implementation impact would mean for the state. Leslie Clement, Deputy Director of Medicaid for the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare, was one of the most vocal supporters of the expansion, saying she thought it was a smart thing to do. Opponents pointed out that, although a large sum of money would come from the federal government, Idaho taxpayers would still be on the hook for a big chunk of the money, and the expansion would create greater dependency on welfare programs and government entitlements. Because of this, governors in several states have rejected the expansion, choosing to focus on reforming the existing systems in their respective states. This past legislative session saw another push to slow down the wind energy industry, with Representative Eric Simpson proposing legislation for a moratorium so that the issue could be studied more. Proponents advocate that wind energy is a great alternative source to coal plants. Opponents have argued against the efficiency of the turbines, the government subsidies for the industry, which come from both state and federal governments, and the true need for it. In fact, the Idaho Public Utilities Commission heard arguments as to how much alternative energy Idaho utilities should have to purchase and how much they should have to pay for that. Idaho Power says they don't need the power when there is light demand. The company wants the commission to approve a plan to manage the wind energy during low demand periods so it can save ratepayers some money. Wind developers, however, argue that allowing the utility to do that would break existing contracts. The Idaho Land Board is garnering attention again, this time for its leasing of space at 803 West Bannock in downtown Boise. The IDL leased the property to 10 Barrel Brewing, a brewery based out of Bend, Oregon. The Department of Land says it can expect to take in around $2.6 million in rent, but critics believe that number is inflated. The last few years have seen a lot of controversy over land board dealings with commercial property, as free market thinkers believe the government has no business competing against the private sector. The land board, along with supporters of its actions, say the Idaho Constitution mandates the board to, quote, secure the maximum long-term financial return, end quote. This means, according to them, that they have the authority to buy any properties which they believe will have a good return on investment, regardless of if it competes against the private sector. That's it for this week's weekly update. Thank you for watching.